I got Play the uh, thing I wanted to show you with Hella. Oh, I got yeah, the yeah, video yeah. pulled up where I wanted to show you this <laughs> video. Can you see it? Is it clear enough for you? Uh, sort of. Just make it bigger than the other Give me screen. A sec here. This is a little bigger here. Yeah, you got all that all that galaxy space on the side, man. You can pull that over. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to link it. Here we go. Okay. Uh, Only problem is I'm not going to be able to hear it. Oh, you can't hear it? Yeah, I Darn shouldn't it. be able to. Try it. Try play it and see. Okay, let's see if you can uh, hear it. You can't hear nothing, huh? Nope. Really? So okay. shoot me the video link in the so, um Okay, here's the video link. In the chat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, private chat? Uh there's something in private chat, chat on the uh thing there. All right. Let me so see. I'm at five twenty five right now. Yeah, five twenty five? Yeah, I'm at five twenty five. <laughs> you had music playing before in the background when we did our pod. Yeah, music from uh stream stream uh lab. Oh it was from stream yard, right, okay. I got yeah. you. I'm at 525. Yeah, I'm about to play. Come, the a little meme comes right after this. It's called the Hella Experience. Okay. <laughs> Are you at 525? I'm hit play. Yeah, yeah, I'm at five. I'm at five. I'm at 531. Okay, the I'm Hella Experience. But this is it doesn't he didn't say Hella Experience because he's talking about Silver Surfer right now. Right here. If you pause it right here, see my scene says the Hella Experience. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. And if you see here, let me oh, see. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'll wait until the hell like pops up. Yeah, okay. and then pause right. it. Okay. You see where like Lady Sif is there? She's trying to. Yeah, yeah. Her. I see where Lady Sif is. Okay. I'm really right, right, right where you're at. Okay, right. I'll say three, two, one, play. <laughs> always do that though. <laughs> Shaking hands. And then no. <laughs> sliced sliced yeah. teller in half. <laughs> sliced teller in half, dude. <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to say, man. Like but that's what's, what's so frustrating with Hella, dude. She's what's like funny, OP though. if you get her, but she's the biggest freaking gamble card in the game. Bro, what's funny is that Sif always is linked to uh Apocalypse. Is she? Yeah. Every time I use her and I have Hella and Apocalypse in the hand, he grabs Apocalypse every time, bro. <laughs> interesting, interesting. He'll grab he'll grab she'll grab Gigantum <laughs> if she has the option to before she grabs Hella. I have. Huh. There's been few times where I've had Sif take out Hella, so that's funny that that that's the issue that's happening for people. But she hasn't she hasn't taken out uh, Hella for me yet. I normally that's get. Funny, fucking, dude. Uh, I'll normally get um, the dragon one. The Do one you have uh, a the sword the sword buster or whatever. Oh, the um, sword he'll, buster. He'll take out. Yeah, sword master will take out Hella quick. <laughs> he takes her out quick. <laughs> and then of course so does Modoc. Yeah, yeah, Modoc. Everyone everybody out. Everybody we'll right, take yeah. everyone out. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have because um, I'll get Modoc and then I'll get freaking hell and I'm like, ah oh, shit, man, I can't use that's Modoc right. I I'm know that's what I'm saying. That's, why I, was, like, that's yeah. why I was surprised you were using Modoc in your Hella deck. I feel like it's two separate decks. I feel like yeah, Hell is a separate deck tricky. from Modoc. Yeah, like two separate should. decks. I think I might switch out Modoc and put in Hellcal. And then you just, have um make that adjustment. So I call this Modoc All In because <laughs> it's basically I only have Modoc as my discard card, right? Modoc so it's is like the only one. Yeah, so it's like I'm basically just hoping to draw Modoc on five, and that's like my one win condition. And mm -hmm. I do run Lady Sif because she target uh, Apocalypse, you know, like every time. Right. Yeah. But um, otherwise, I have no discard cards. Although I do wish I had Calling Wing. I had to play this deck right now. I think it'd be pretty good. If I had calling, mm -hmm. I would cut freaking lizard, 
and I would put in Colleen Wing because yeah. she freaking just hits Swarm over and over. Dude, I'm like uh, the collector. Mm -hmm. Like whenever you add a card to your hand, he goes plus one. So mm -hmm. whenever Swarm comes back to your hand, whenever Apocalypse comes back to your hand, Ooh, okay. he grows. He Shock grows. Nice, nice. So if you want to add collector to your deck, it's a pretty cool combo. Um, okay. So like collector and Mobius kind of do the same thing. They yeah. do like very similar things, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're very so crazy. like if you don't draw a Mobius, then you might draw a collector. So like every game you might have at least one of them working mm -hmm. for you, you know. Yeah. And then uh and then I finally did get Dracula. <laughs> it was in my token Ooh, shop. Man. I had to get him in my token shop. Oh, it was in your token. Yeah, huh? of course I never got him in a freaking box, dude. Yeah. Um, but nah, he finally came in my token <laughs> shop and I had a thousand coins saved, dude. That's and all he cost was a thousand? Because he's he's a series three, so all he costs is a thousand. Yeah. Oh man, that's so a I steal, snagged, dude. I, I snagged Dracula, dude. I was I like, Dracula finally, I got that, Dracula, man. dude. Finally. So that was pretty cool. And then I have the strong guy, but he doesn't work if you're playing like Apocalypse, you know? Yeah, no, because, because Apocalypse, Apocalypse always comes back to your hand. hand. Yeah. yeah. That's the so, like, only if you problem I have with Apocalypse. I wanted to get rid of them and just keep Infinite and Gigantum because at least <laughs> they can be discarded. <laughs> and they're, they're wicked strong. I know. Apocalypse like, just keeps coming back. Yeah, I got to get at least three, maybe you know, like like three discards of Apocalypse in order for him to even equate to, to comparing to Gigantum. Right. And sometimes, sometimes, dude, I have like the shittiest look. I have all the discard cards, and all mm -hmm. they do is pick off freaking. Uh, apocalypse so it's like okay i got hella and i could drop some shit but my last oh, but week, nothing discarded, discarded but apocalypse, apocalypse. So, all, all <laughs> again, yeah. so it's just like yeah that's funny dude there's certain cards yeah like maybe modok and apocalypse should not be in the deck at all for my hella deck i call it hella yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you if you run uh you shouldn't run apocalypse with hella absolutely like yeah. I, I did i have a hella deck here i thought i had a hella deck but i don't um, what do you call your hella deck I just called it Hella. Okay, I called like, mine Hella. I, I, didn't, I didn't call anything else. <laughs> <laughs> but I run freaking, you know, Jubilee and stuff in my Hella deck. Okay, Jubilee is a good. I think Jubilee is just like going to be one of those staples where she could just fit into any deck, dude. Like she just I don't have the freaking Gigantus out. guy you have, or what's that guy called? Gigantum or whatever. I don't have it's him. Swamp, swamp the closest I have him. is Hulk. Hulk is like the closest thing I have. Oh. So I use Hulk instead of him. But yeah. uh, I'd rather use use Gigantus, of course, because he's 14. Uh, you know? let, me, let me get his real name. Oh, I got Death, too. I just recently. Oh, you got it. Death? Nice. Yeah, out of a random thing. I want free She Hulk, man. Damn it. Giganto, that's what his name is. Oh, there's so many cards I want. I don't have any of like, the good cards. Yeah, there you go. Giganto, that's the, the one that's like 6 and 14. But yeah, he, that guy. Yeah. On the left side, but when you pull him out with Hella, he goes in. Right. Right, so, exactly. Yeah. That's why he's better than Hulk. Yeah, it's just because you're never playing them from the hand. You're always like playing them from Hella or like, you know, Ghost Rider. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, I should have showed you my like Hella. That. I think I deleted it, unfortunately. Your Hella deck. Yeah. Do you? Get, it's almost like no read, no no need to delete, dude. You, you can have so many decks. I know. Sometimes it gets difficult to like keep track of it all. But I was yeah. I was running like God, I can't even remember. There's definitely Hella. I think Hell Cow is in there. Ghost Rider's in there. Lady Sith, of course, is in there. Mm -hmm. um, I had um, I had Death in there. I had Infinite in there. I had Hulk in there. But I would just run Giganto if I had it. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I had Jubilee in there. Uh, Jubes. Jubilee was in there. And then uh, I think, gosh, what else? I want Colleen Wing so freaking bad. Yo, Colleen man. is like such a good discard card. What do you think about what they did to Leader? I didn't own Leader, so I don't even know. Oh, I've got, I got Leader, have. but dude, they shit on Leader, dude. Leader is a bad cool. card now, yeah. Leader used to be really good because it just didn't matter whatever your opponent was dropping. It would uh -huh. duplicate it and then put it on your side. So it would it was almost like a hella, you know, except like if they played like mad cards, you could fill your whole shit up with just everything they played. And it was just GG's when you dropped it, but um, or at least it would tie you up. But 
freaking now it's it's only on your right side so if you're if they don't drop anything on your right <laughs> it's like it's, it's you know i mean it's like duds right like i used to see leader quite often and now i don't see that sucker at all like that motherfucker got blown away it's probably something like along these lines my hella deck would be something like along these lines okay so Dracula, like. jubilee ghost rider hella hell cow uh, dude, I don't know, man. I don't really like America Chavez like that. It's she's just okay, but... consistency. It's all she's on there for. Oh, because she she's always the last card, right? So she just she makes your deck an eleven card deck. Mm -hmm. So like you're drawing Lady Sif more often, and like what card do you really want to draw more? Mm -hmm. Hella, uh, America Chavez that she did that, and it always gives you something to discard for like Dracula too. Like if you had Dracula, so like if you uh -huh. have like so let's say it comes to turn six. And like you have Hella and America Chavez in hand, uh -huh. you always have a big card for like Dracula, right? Like mm -hmm. it's not like super big, but it's it's big ish, you yeah. Know? So it's kind of like you play her and then you discard Infinite, right? So okay. it's like your last turn is kind of like a Chavez into like Dracula dropping something big. So that's kind of like the idea here with this Hella deck. But yeah, I definitely would not run Modoc with Hella, I don't think. Although yeah. you have Invisible Woman, I don't have Invisible Woman. And oh, I do okay. see people run, um, they go Invisible Woman, then they put MODOK down, then they put Hella down after. Right? So when the game oh. ends, MODOK flips, discarding your hand, and then Hella flips, bringing everything back. So like as one big final push. That's a right. pretty good combo with Invisible Woman. The only problem is a lot of people, when they see Invisible Woman hit the floor, they put Cosmo in that lane. So then when they mm. end up do flipping, Cosmo's there. So Modoc is a reveal effect. It doesn't activate. Hell is a reveal effect. It doesn't activate. So Cosmo yeah. just straight shuts down Invisible Woman combos. But you, you have Invisible what? Woman, which is pretty cool. So like you could play a Hella Modoc deck with Invisible Woman. I, yeah, I, I guess I, I guess I hadn't tried that combo. Most of the time, I end up just like because of my deck being such a heavy discard deck. I normally don't have anything in my hand. Like if I've got Modoc in my hand. And then, like, I've got other cards. The other cards end up getting played, especially if I have Hella in my hand along with Modoc. And so to, like, hold it, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, see, it if you have Hella like, in your hand with Modoc, Modoc would just blast an empty hand, and it wouldn't exactly, give you no Exactly, exactly. So but if you have it. Invisible Woman down, you can play Modoc on five and play Mo Hella on six still because yeah, Modoc yeah, won't right. blast your hand right until right. the game ends. That's what's cool about Invisible Woman. But if you don't mm -hmm. have Invisible Woman, then I wouldn't play Modoc and Hella, right? Because you're right. You're like, oh, shoot. Well, I can't play Modoc now because it's going to F up my Hella. And I already yeah. discarded like four things with, you know, Hell Cow and Swordmaster. So I got to make sure that I freaking use Hella because Hella is going to win the game for me, right? And like my yeah. Modoc isn't. But like, that's why I just kind of went like all in Modoc. That's why mine's called like all in Modoc. Right. Because like, he's like my only discard. So basically okay. the way I look at it is like, I don't care if I discard my hand. Like, I don't give a damn. Because, mm -hmm. like, that all buffs Morbius, it, it, it buffs Collector, and then my final turn is just, like, Apocalypse, America Chavez, and zero mana sw Swarms. So Swarms are zero mana. So my last turn, um, so long as I drew MODOK, basically. Mm -hmm. If I didn't draw MODOK, I'm kind of screwed. Like, that's why I said it's all in MODOK. Like, if I don't draw MODOK, then I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to win the game. But MODOK is cool because you have until turn five to draw him, right? So... You have quite a bit of the game to draw him. So you're going to be drawing him more than 50% of the time, like probably 70, 70% 70 of the time you're going to draw him. Yeah. Um, and then you're you're going to probably win if you play him, probably going to win. Because what's going to happen is, you know, you're going to discard your swarm and everything else gets discarded and doesn't come back to your hand, which you're happy with that. Because yeah. what's going to happen is when it goes to your last turn, all you draw is America Chavez, which is like perfect. All you draw is America Chavez, nothing else in your deck. And so what happens is you have a hand of freaking two swarms, America Chavez, and Apocalypse. So all those cards get played on turn six because you have Dracula out, right? So what you do is oh. you play America Chavez onto the field, you play uh -huh. your two zero-cost swarms, and all you have in your hand now is Apocalypse. And then when the game ends, Dracula tosses Apocalypse, right? So your very last turn was nine power, America Chavez, two three powers, and Apocalypse, who's probably at like 16 power or something like that. Yeah. Right? So it's like a lot of power, a lot of power on turn six. 
Mm. Right. So it's like Modoc is cool because it, it's it makes your hand perfect in a sense. Kind of makes your hand perfect for turn six. Now, why you got death in there though? Well, you had death, death? in there. You took you took death. I, out. I think you switched death for this one. Um, no, I have death in my hella deck. So okay. death is in my hella deck. The yeah, reason why okay. I have death in here is so um, if I draw hella, Lady mm -hmm. Sif will discard death every time. Oh, <laughs> so you have death as your buffer? Yeah. Your hella, your, your hella buffer? Okay. It increases <laughs> hella consistency. And then she's 12 power, right? So she's cool to pull out with uh, Ghost Rider or Hella. Yeah, right? Yeah. So, like, and you're, you're, you're discarding her a lot because you draw Lady Sif, you know, quite a bit. You're right. So, yeah. like, you're discarding death, like, quite a bit, you know? So okay. that's the only reason why death is inside this deck. Literally the only reason. I'll tell you this, though, bro. There were a couple times, man, when someone played Galactus. Uh -huh. Right, and like Dude. my death went down to zero mana. I was Ooh. like, "Thank you." Yeah, or like yeah. someone freaking <laughs> is playing a destruction deck themselves, mm -hmm. right? And they're when they destroy things, it counts for our death. Oh, really? Like, okay. Even though I'm not destroying, their destruction yeah. is still. <laughs> you like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going, Dude, keep there's going. Dude, there was another time too. Yeah, I'm like, kill, go ahead, kill monger everything, man. <laughs> like I was like, there's another time too, man, where there's like a location, a location that says destroy your deck, draw three cards, destroy your deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That counts for Ooh, death, too. All that counts, too, huh? So death becomes, Damn. like, one mana. And you're just like, dude, that's OP. Yeah, you right? just, you're just like throwing stuff nuts. out for free, man. So, like, yeah. death is just kind of a really cool card. So okay. uh, it's just, yeah, like, a really fun card. So even though, like, you're not destroying, she triggers quite a bit, believe it or not. Um, and then you toss her a lot for Lady uh, Sif, which is really cool because you guarantee yourself a strong card for, like, Ghost Rider. Like, Lady dude. Sif into death into ghost rider it's like really powerful stuff man like that's really yeah. strong stuff yeah i really i really love um getting infinite out of my hand like if i got infinite out of my hand i'm like ooh, mm -hmm. ggs like yeah. Yeah. all i need like there's been plenty of times <laughs> where i'll i'll do like a lady sif on turn three and then it takes out it takes out freaking uh infinite and then i get ghost rider on turn four, I drop Ghost Rider and pull yeah. out Infinite. Yeah, I know, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's 23 points right there for the heavy, you know? I know, it's crazy. It's like, real, probably going to win nice that lane game, easy. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's sweet, man. Like, so there's some fun stuff. It's just super high rolly. Yeah. Um, But that makes it fun, you know? But, uh, but yeah, it's cool. There's just cards I'm missing, of course. <laughs> I miss cards for like, mm -hmm. I can never make the deck exactly how I'd want to make it, right? Like, you're probably in the same boat. Like, if I had yeah. Calling Lee, I'd add her. You know, if I had Giganto, I'd add him in, right? Like, I just never seem to have, like, all the cards to make a deck exactly how I want in this game. You know, yeah, so yeah, for sure. It's infuriating. Um, like, I have Shuri. Mm -hmm. um, I don't Shuri have Shuri. Shuri. So I have yeah, Shuri. Is... Dude, but I have none of the big cards to make to make use of her. None of them. Like, Do you I don't have, have like, you, you don't even have Black Panther? I do have Black Panther actually, but he's nothing compared to like Red Skull, like Red Skull or like yeah, uh, Typhoid Queen. Mary, Typhoid yeah. Mary, or I want Typhoid she, or She Hulk. I don't have any of the cards people use uh, for sure. So it's like it's she she sucks kind of for me, even though she's Wait, like one of the most powerful. What, what's cards. a special ability for She Hulk? She Hulk is sick, dude. She just got 10, 10 strength, right? She's ten strength, but. She decreases in cost for every mana you didn't spend on the previous turn. Oh, okay. So she's almost so, like an infinite type thing. Well, what people do is like, you know, Arrow? Do you have yeah. this card? Yeah, I do. She's like the best card in the game, probably, Arrow. Really? Yeah, Why? she's probably the best card in the game. Easily. Move all enemies played this turn to this location. I mean, she definitely disrupts plans. Like if you just throw even if she was player. like even if she was zero, like if she was just a five cause zero, uh -huh. she'd still be the best card in the game in my opinion. Just because um, she you dictate when you play that where your opponent's going to play next. Is that why? Or if if you're if you're ahead in two lanes, she alone wins you the game. So it doesn't even matter what your opponent does, because like mm -hmm. let's say you're winning two lanes. Even let's say you have one a one one minion in there, just one, and you're winning it by like two points. Yeah. And you play her middle. All the cards they play go middle, so they can't win those lanes. Like even if you just have like a two power cost there, they can't win it because the card they played there gets pulled gotcha. to the middle. So yeah. arrow like is sick. But what people do 
is they skip turn five, and then in turn six, they play Arrow and She-Hulk. Can you believe that? Ooh, yeah. Okay, she's that only five. Nice, nice she's only combo, five, yeah. right? And so you skip turn five. That's five so mana. Decreased only one on mana for her. So She-Hulk's one mana. Arrow's five. So you play Arrow. And then you win the other lane with She Hulk. So if you're like, even if you're about, you know, about down behind or, whatever, or something, yeah. it's like retarded, man. You switch it, yeah. Like it's stupid, dumb. So like, I wish I had She Hulk. And a lot of people just play She Hulk, and they use freaking uh, what is the chick? Uh, magic. Do you have magic? Uh, this, this I think I here? do have magic. Yeah, dude. So if you had She Hulk, what they do, bro? Check this out. Is on turn five they magic, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And then turn six they skip. And then turn oh, seven so you, got a free you, magic, you get a free She Hulk and Infinite. So they go Infinite She Hulk. Mm, damn. <laughs> Infinite, you know, you can play if you skip your last turn. So, like, yeah. you skip your last turn and you got, and you can also play a one cost too. So you can go like, you can go like She Hulk, Infinite, and like a one cost card if you want. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's crazy, dude. Like, so those are the cool things you can do with She Hulk, but I don't, I don't own She Hulk. You know, gotcha. So. Yeah, I don't have She-Hulk either. I've played her a couple of times because if you play uh Nick Fury, you're gonna get She-Hulk. So you should think about I don't that. I don't I don't own Nick Fury. I don't own Nick Fury. You don't? We no, all got Nick me. Fury. No, I don't have Nick Fury. What? Look at these are all my fives. I don't have Nick Fury in here. We got we got Nick Fury for Oh, Fury. there he goes. You're right. He yeah, is here. we all have Nick Fury. You okay. literally got it if you had the game. Like you get it in your in your uh your mail. In your inbox. Oh, they sent it to you for mail. Okay, he's yeah. a he's a pull three card though, so I didn't think I had him. So yeah, I guess I do. Right. Yeah. If you put if you if you construct your deck around working with like Arrow and She Hulk or She Hulk and um and Infinite and all that stuff, like you said, if you can if you can figure out a way to get him down a little earlier, you know, like maybe if there's some like uh, if you're playing a uh, Sarah to drop drop uh the cost one. You know what I mean? You, you have play Psylocke? No Sarah's. Do you have Psylocke? Uh, no, I don't have Psylocke. She's the one I want, too. <laughs> I don't have any of the cards that I want. It's crazy. I think it's uh, Psylocke. Let me see here. Psylocke just adds a point, right? And, um, a point of attack? So Psylocke, she gives you one energy next turn. Oh, one energy. So, yeah. right, like, so you play her on four. Or no, you play her on three. <laughs> it's kind of like what you're saying. You play her gotcha. on three, and then turn four, you get one more point. So then you can play Nick right, Fury. Right, right. Okay. right, you'll add She-Hulk to your hand. Then you can skip turn five, right? Then She-Hulk will go to one, and you can do, like, Arrow She-Hulk or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you would have to do something like what you have to use, like, Psylocke, <laughs> which I don't have Psylocke. What about, like, Electro? I, I mean, Electro, Electro wouldn't you be... you have Electro? I have Electro. But the only problem is is that he, he constricts it so that you can only play one card per turn. So you'd have to figure out a way uh, to like get yeah, the energy, yeah. but like disable his ability. <laughs> yeah, that's unlikely, know. right? Yeah, yeah. I don't have Electro. A lot mm -hmm. of people put Electro in their freaking Galactus deck, right? Mm. Dude, I uh, I was just playing uh earlier before the podcast, and um, I had a a location that said that they would add a random card, uh. To the and field, it was Galactus. To that location, and it was Galactus, and um, and you had an empty. Uh, it was empty. So wait, so look, so the opponent got Galactus, oh. and then I got Thanos, and for some <laughs> reason, the, they both ended up in the same location, right? So the only card he had there was Galactus, right? And so Galactus would not have gone off if he had other, any other card there. Galactus wouldn't have gone off. Oh, okay. Because yeah, Galactus right. has to only be played on an empty location for it to, its effect mm. to go off. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. So we well, have yeah. to not play anything there then, right? And it just happened to be Galactus. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so. But yeah, so he got Galactus dropped on his side. And then I got Thanos dropped on my side. But I had three, uh, two other cards there. So now I had three. And then, uh, so one of my cards was uh, Sunspot. And then, like, another one, like Lady Sif or something like that. And then Thanos. And then he had Galactus. And it was just that location. So all right. I did, all I did was sit because I had cards. I just skipped every turn because this was, like, after yeah. turn, like, three or something like that. So four or five, I just skipped and let, let Sunspot build up. And then six, 
<clears throat> I dropped, dropped uh, I dropped Infinite. Infinite. Yeah, yeah, but on his sixth turn, he dropped uh Killmonger. So <laughs> Killmonger. Oh, he killed your, sun sunspot. Killed your sunspot. Yeah. yeah, I think I think I had Sunspot and Blade in that in that area. So he killed Sunspot and he killed Blade. But, if but because enough. I had Thanos and I had Infinite, it yeah, it was the 28 was smoking what he had dropped. So yeah. but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was just so it was just so crazy to see Galactus come out and fuck everything up. I had a whole bunch of shit on the field. And he yeah, changed everything. Funny, and I was like, damn, man, he blew up all my shit. If see, that's I had where you death, wish you were playing death. Yeah, yeah no, you could have just yeah, dropped that for free. Nice play, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like I said, I only had one spot left. That's true. So, so you were, you were coveting out. that spot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just lucked out that uh, you know, I had a sunspot and that helped and made him readjust. Like he could have dropped something higher, but because I had sunspot and sunspot was at like 20 something, he had to kill sunspot to get it out of there to even have an attempt. And he ain't know what I had in my hand because I was just holding cards. Letting Sunspot rock. So, but yeah, man. So, it was cool. But yeah, man. Uh, so, I, I guess we can do a, a friendly battle um, on here and then talk about God of War, you know, as uh, as one of our first things. You, you want to do a friendly battle on this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it. Right, I, don't, I don't know if you want to wait. Don't, don't, peek in, don't, peek in these, don't do any screen peeks here, bro. Screepy. So I already have my deck. I can't do nothing with your deck. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but you can see the cards. On oh, the deck. okay, okay. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. You I won't I... look at this shit. I don't know how I can make yours uh, bigger. I can do it like that, but people won't be well, able to see. Well, then the people can't enjoy the game. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, uh, you unshared your screen. You did. Uh, did I? You like canceled me out. I didn't do anything like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you'll just have to uh, trust me <laughs> that I won't that I won't look at what you're gonna play. All right, man. We'll do it. Give me the code. But uh, but yeah, man. So freaking God of War, dude. Uh, I had like a good a good little chunk of change, and I was windling uh God of War down, going through the story and whatnot. Finally finished it off. Uh-huh. Um. And uh, I enjoyed it. There was a couple of things that uh, that I would have liked to see different or whatnot. But, you know, it's nothing really like, you know, it's just like nitpicking or whatnot. But uh, uh-huh. like, OK, did it did it ever like excite you to see those hilts and then realize that, you know, you cannot get like a sword? <laughs> or, or anything like that. Like you, you found those hilts, but those hilts were just for those for fighting those guys, and you don't get to use like a blade like you did in the other one, and and the 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 previous like series, the the trilogy or whatever of God of War. Like, yeah, I, I thought- think that was definitely one of my disappointments was like a lack of like weapons. Although the spear was really cool, I will the admit spear the spear sick. was really. You know, sick. I, I really love the um, spear, dude. I don't know about you, man, but like I got that hunter set. <laughs> I don't know if you got if you collected that full hunter set, but it increased range damage. Okay. And I maxed that set out. Dude, the spear <laughs> was retarded did? strong. Like yeah. I would throw spears and like it increased range damage by like a certain percentage. Okay. But what really dealt damage was when I popped them. When you blew like, it when up. You threw the, dude, mm-hmm. for some reason the multiplier was yeah. like overtuned for that mm-hmm. gear set. And dude, I would throw one spear pop and a dude would die. Like, that's how much damage he was doing, dude. Dude, okay. dude, I went in those freaking Berserker Kings, you know? And I would just yeah. chuck them until I had, like, the full amount, like, eight yeah. or nine in them. And then I'd yeah. pop them. And they're they're helping they're take all the way down, dude, to, like, nothing. Damn. In, okay. like, one go. It was retarded. That makes me want to go out there and try just to Dude, it. it was so <laughs> tight. Dude, once I had that and I was, like, you know, balling, I just used yeah. that the rest of the game. I used that on freaking, you know, Odin. I used that on Hercules. Hercules was like a joke easy. I just chucked him full and then yeah. pop. And he would just like go to the next cutscene because I was killing him so yeah. fast. But just popped. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the game would like force me to stop killing him and then go like yeah, you know, to the next team of fight. You can't finish his life off because you got to go to the next cutscene. <laughs> Dude, I felt like a freaking, I felt invincible, bro. No joke. Like I felt like mm-hmm. there's no enemy I can come across right now that's going to be able to ever hurt me until I freaking beat the game. 
Uh, and I kept playing, and I went and found GNA. GNA? I don't even know. GNA? No. Do you know about that? You know at the very end of the game when you're walking down with uh, – uh, what's her Tress? name? The girl? Tress? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Tess? Yeah. Uh, I'm saying Tess talking about the Valkyrie. freaking last of us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Valkyrie girl that was on your freaking yeah. team. You know? Yeah, Sif. Sif. Uh, what, there it is. Sif. No, no, yes. wait. No, no, no. Is it's it not Sif? Sif. It's not Sif. Oh, it's okay. it's Fe- Freya. Freya, there you go. Fre- Freya. So you have Freya and Freya, right? Yeah, Freya's, Freya's the brother. brother Freya's and then the, Freya's the, the, the yeah. sister. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. anyways, Freya is like, oh, we have to go hunt down the new Valkyrie queen. Remember? She was like talking about GNA got away or whatever. Yeah. 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 She was uh because she went on to um, Odin's side and they used to be friends. Back yes. Then. Yes. And exactly. She was like, She's well, no I wouldn't I found, do that. I went and found Gina or GNA. Okay. Yeah. And dude, that was... Hands down, hands down, yeah. the most infuriating and difficult fight in this entire game, and it's not even remotely close. Dude. Nothing's remotely close. It was so okay, so, so hard, bro. I can't. I, I, me, I'm like getting mad just thinking about it right now. Tell me this: did did the difficulty just seem absurd, anyways, on it? Like at for a certain point, because like I was playing in like medium. Or whatever. I wasn't right. even playing like normal, or normal because I wanted to play the story and stuff like that. And I felt like when I was playing normal, there was like certain fights where I just had to do it again and again and again because I went into a certain area and there was just guys that I just couldn't, I couldn't even tangle with. So it's like, why are they even over here in this presentable place when like I'm dying? Like, uh, yeah. It was like those two, those two like trollish looking smaller creatures that like blow like uh, bad breath fog or something like that. Consistently. Oh yeah, I, I remember those and, two guys. Those and then tough. they did like a, a a throw up from the ground, and it yeah, was like two of them fire in the party, right? Yeah, on a small island, dude. It was whipping my ass, man. I could <laughs> not get away. Like it was like no matter how much I rolled or whatever, I just couldn't dodge the fire shit. And then they would do like a a combined thing where it would be like one would throw from one side and the other one would throw. <laughs> it was like it's the deaths. Like well, the I was I using my it. freaking spear, my spear method. So oh, I was so like, you I would run away. Running. I was just That's chucking right. spears and pops, popping those spears. Uh, okay. you know, bursting them. But like, yeah, yeah. I waited till I was uh, almost max. Like, so yes, the game was like originally kind of tough. There were some fights, like even those freaking uh, hell spawns when you fought yeah. the little, when you found the little uh, fire. You talking about the lava? The yeah, lava the shit? lava spots, and you yeah, would summon a, a fury or whatever. Dude, yeah. those guys are tough, man. Those guys are pretty yeah, hard. It was, just, it was like ridiculous. Like, why do I have to fight this much for these guys? Like, they should be around that area. And I understand a challenge, dude, but it's like, okay, you're throwing one guy who constantly can take a beating and is constantly attacking you. He's aggressive. And then you've got these other peons and they don't just die easily though. They still take a bit. So it's like, okay, if I fight with the ax, the ax just doesn't give me enough radius. Like I loved fighting with the chaos blades because they, they gave you a lot of radius. So you could fight multiple things at once, but with the damn, the ax, like <laughs> you're kind of confined to like one guy. You know, maybe if you do the special and do a twirl around or something like that, you can hit multiple guys, but it, it just like it really, you know, restricted you. And, and the fact that you got to fight with like a different element, you know what I mean? That shit didn't help it either. It's just like, damn, like those those hell guys, it was it was like times where I, it was taking me like a couple of uh a couple of goes, you know. Yeah, I think it's like a it's like a fascinating like dichotomy I think the developers have trying to balance the idea that you're a god and yet give you something to fight that's worth fighting, right? Like yeah, that's yeah. a very difficult thing to comprehend, right? How? Because yeah, your other side is like, what the heck? Like I'm freaking the god, and this freaking like lizard, like is taking He's hits for me. Ass. Like yeah. this guy should be like dead in one swipe. Like this shouldn't yeah. even be a problem. I should but be able to, to smite like, this guy. <laughs> yeah, I should be able to smite this. <laughs> but like they have to make it to where like you have something to fight and something to play. So like I understand yeah. like that 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 struggle. But I will say, I will say, as I leveled up my gear and mm-hmm. like I was able to level up my weapons, I went to like all the way to eight or nine. I think not eight. They wouldn't let you go. You, you you actually can't hit nine until the end of the game. You can't. Oh. They won't let you hit nine. So but you can hit eight. And at eight, you're like two levels above the the, the end of the game. I think the game ends at like six. So mm-hmm. like I was literally melting like everything in the game. 
Like mm. by the time I got my gear leveled up and I had like my weapons at eight, yeah. I was melting everything in the game. Even at seven, I was kind of melting everything in the game. But like uh, the problem is that those lizard on, those lizards on that island, one's a seven and one's an eight. Yeah. Right. So like you're probably a six or something, and you're trying to fight dudes. That yeah, I was like a, I was you. like a, a like they yeah, were tough. I was a six, and they were just like, oh man, I I was like, dude, this is this is stupid. Like I can't even get enough of a of a a break. And then so like you have a purple one and then a red one, and for some reason the purple one was just that much harder to take. Yeah, because he's an eight. Yeah. yeah, and so the red one, like, I, I would still, I would try to put, like, a whole lot of work in, get the red one down, but that purple one would be on my ass, and, like, Atreus isn't doing enough to keep him off of me, so, you know, he's just doing the ground swiping and just fucking, you know, blowing me away, and it's just like, and it was, it was like times where you, like, step in the ring, and then he just does a ground swipe, and then instant death, like, and I'm like, dude, how is this even, like, like, how, how is this working, dude, like, it, it didn't make any yeah. sense. It was, it was so like perfect. I did that fight too, I, I, and I was like, I, I, I tried it a few times, and I almost got it when I was like a six or something like that. But I was yeah. like, there's just no way I'm gonna be able to do this. So I actually left, and then I came back when I was eight, and mm -hmm. I, I killed them like my first try. So like, do leveling up makes like a huge difference in this game. Like I'd recommend everyone who plays this game like, folk, make sure you level up, and it makes you just overpowered in this game. Like, yeah, uh, it was that the the game was just it just seemed like uh their ratios were off like it just for certain things for you to to have to be like a level or two higher than your opponent to really get them down and like you even if they were your same level you can't like best them uh you know pretty like you know steady uh, that just seems like it, it's just something way off. Like yeah, to bet them was, to best them steady, you need to be above them in level. But yeah, which is but which only, is but being their same level, it's kind of like a fight. But being below the level, you're gonna have a real hard time, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like if you're and even that, one it, level below, it's ridiculously hard. Yeah, it's like the first the first time in a while where I was just like, fuck it, man. Like I don't, I don't like, I, I love a challenge and whatnot, but because this challenge isn't that interesting to me, like, it's not like, it's not like, uh, like I'm going to get like some super big prize or something like that. It's literally like, I'm just completing a small challenge and then moving right. on to something else. Like I was just like, fuck it. I took it to story, dude. Like, like I just took it to story so that I could actually get past a certain area and just play the story. Like I love exploring and doing the side stuff and things like that. But there were certain fights where it's just like, like, why am I dying? Like, this doesn't make sense. Like this guy can't be putting that much damage on me. And then the fact that you give me no health potions to, to revitalize myself, I only get lucky bursts of health. If I do like certain abilities or, I hit somebody with something, you know, specific or whatever. Like, I thought that shit was ass, too. Like, why? I'm why telling you, I though, man, like, the, the, the freaking spear uh -huh. with that hunter's gear, man. Yeah. Like, this fight I'm watching the screen right now would have been over, like, ages ago with my spear. <laughs> yeah. I would have just chucked a couple spears here, a couple spears to him, a couple spears yeah. to him, popped them, and they, they're dead. Like, okay. the fight's over. <laughs> Those explosions yeah, were hitting heavy with that gear on, dude. It was retarded. Yeah, I might go back and, and see if I can, you know, check out the hunter thing just to like play with it and maybe do that GNA chick or something like that. And dude, but I listen, even with my even with my trick, and I was max level too, I was level nine. And uh -huh. I went back to so I first went to fight GNA when I was an eight. I hadn't got uh -huh. my full uh my last uh chaos flame or whatever I needed. To, yeah. oh, no, it wasn't a chaos flame. Sorry. There's this freaking material you need to upgrade your belt, I think. And, like, you cannot upgrade it. You cannot get that material. You can upgrade everything else to nine except your belt. Your belt? I think it's your belt or, like, a hilt or something. It might be okay. some, some obscure piece of gear stays yeah. at eight. So you can never get to nine until you beat the game, literally. And mm. then once you beat the game, there's these remnants of Odin that you can run and kill that will drop finally that one material you need to upgrade oh. your hilt or whatever to level yeah, nine. Yeah. And now you're finally nine. So when the game first ended, I kind of went straight to GNA and I challenged her. <laughs> I was like, couldn't get her. Like the best I could do was like maybe half life. That's the, my best. 
So I used yeah. everything. I was full health. I used my resurrection stone. I used every trick, every single like power I had, and half was like the best I could do. Like I yeah. left nothing in the bag, and I could get to her to half. And I was like, "This is retarded." So then I left. I got that last item. I got to level nine. Uh -huh. I went. I'm like, I'm gonna go try now. Maybe I'll be above her in level, right? Maybe I'll be like the. You know how I say if you're over level, you're like it right. becomes easy. Because like yeah. if I was the same level as her, I wasn't getting anywhere near killing this chick. And I was like wrecking. Remember, dude, I was wrecking everything in this game with my freaking spears. I was wrecking everything. But Gina, heck no. So I go back. I max that level. I'm level nine, and I still I still can't get her. I maybe get her like forty percent. Like I do like ten percent better, right? Mm. And I can never get better than that. So I was like, dude, I'm about to quit this freaking game, man. Like, I don't think I can play. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm done. I'm done here. There's no way I can do this. And so I did the, uh, <laughs> what I don't like doing, like you mentioned, and I freaking switched the damn game to uh, story. Okay. You, like, you switched it to story too? Just for Gina. Okay. Just for Gina. I did everything mm -hmm. else on normal, but I did switch it to story for Gina. Cause I was mm -hmm. kind of coming to the same conclusion at that point. I'm like, what am I doing? Like, why it's am I not, trying to cause myself this struggle. pain and suffering yeah. <laughs> for, like, what? Like, what am I gaining from this, you know? Like, yeah, at this so point, I unless you're like, telling me, like, if I'm going for a plat and you're telling me that I have to beat the game in, like, freaking, you know, normal or hell or something like that, then I'm not doing this. Like, I'm <laughs> about dude, to drop this. Anyway, game. but, dude, anyways, I switched it to story, right? Mm -hmm. And that still took me. A dozen tries. <laughs> it took you a lot. That's how hard Gina was. I'm not even kidding. With my open yeah, spear, dude. with my max level, Gina was so incredibly stupid hard. But the thing was, once I switched it to easy, I was getting her close to death. So I was like, okay, I, I know I can do this now. So I just kept right. like doing it. And she was still, I was sweating. Like it was still sweating. <laughs> That's how hard she was, dude. Like it was retarded hard. Yeah. Like way harder than freaking, in my <laughs> opinion, like uh Lady uh Melina and got in uh in Elden Ring. Like Lady that was yeah. hard, but I could not wicked. do Gina. I could not do Gina. And it was strange, man. Did you ever notice it felt dude like the closer and closer you got them to die and the harder and harder they took hits? Like, oh, yeah, it took, like more up, and more man. hits. It was like, like, defense, as a, like they had defense. I know their defense stuff. like flies to the roof and I can't kill them. It's like, dude. I've been doing these same moves and I chalked 90% of your health down. And now yeah. I'm doing like these same moves for like a good five minutes and you're still alive? This is Dude, impossible. they definitely they definitely took a page out of Melania's book, man, because that bitch, remember when she when you got her down like you know a good amount, she would do that freaking uh that flower burst pedal shit. <laughs> she would shoot up in the <laughs> sky and then yeah. drop down and then do that freaking blooming shit. Man, that booming shit would just eradicate you quick if you got caught in it. So, and anyways, you, you I wanted to ask you, you like, two slips and then she's up and then down. So, did you ultimately think of the story? You know. Okay, so <clears throat> I thought the story was. Uh, I felt like they took like a, a. They definitely gave Kratos like a different, um, a different pace like a way to look at him or whatever i felt like he was very fatherly in this game like he no longer wanted to be the god of war and i know like they they hinted at that on the first one because you know he basically like you know ran from his past you know what i'm saying and tried to live like a whole different life but it was almost like you know you are what you are you can only run so far because it's gonna come to get you you know anyways like it, it, regardless of of how much you do to try to stay away from wars and battle, you're still going to have to get in there, you know? Um, and, you know, the only person that seemed to uh, be able to persuade his changes was his son and whatnot. But uh, I just, I, I guess the way they left it was so that you could be done with, with Kratos' story. And, and it's just, it's all about Atreus, you know? That's kind of like where it seemed to leave, you know, the... The passionate look back, <laughs> you know, it's like I'm going, Dad. I'll see you later. Yeah, that you was know, emotional as heck, dude. You know, yeah, that was emotional, man. Like when he and, stops and look back and then leave, like yeah, that you was know, something. He's, yeah, he's watching his son, and you know, his son's talking to this girl, which I I, I assumed that that was the girl that he was talking about. He he was interested Anger, in or whatever. Agrabota, 
Agrimona, yeah. You know, and so like he's talking to her and and they're kind of like, you know, they they're chopping it up, like maybe they're making plans for the future or something, you know. The, the conversation is muted, but you just see he's happy after that freaking throwdown he just did with Odin and shit, you know. <laughs> and uh and everything is is good, and then he's just on this journey, you know. But uh I liked I like the story. That's that's literally the reason. That was like, you know, besides it being God of War or whatever, that was like the main reason why I kept going with the game is because the story was enjoyable. Regardless of, of how much wasn't really changed um, from the game, they did add a couple of new uh, enemies in there to deal with and stuff like that. So that was cool. But um, it was the story. You know, the story was just like, oh, man, I, I got to keep playing because I want to see what happens. You know, I want to see, you know, where they go with this, you know? Yeah, um, it's a yes and no for me. Like, some things I thought about the story were really brilliant. Like, I agree with you. Like, um, I really, really loved um, the fatherly aspect of this game. Um, you know, especially if you're a father, like you are, you know, and like we are. It meant, it meant like, so much more to people like us probably because, like, I totally can see what he's going through. Like yeah, all those understand. feelings matter like a big time. And then, you know, at the same time, like we were all young kids too, you know, like Atreus, you know, who wants to, you know, have his own way, but Kratos knows what's best. And like that whole struggle, you know, between knowing what's best and giving your son freedom to make his own choices and uh, make his own mistakes is like one of the greatest challenges, right. For a parent. And yeah. they, they really conveyed that really well. And, uh, I really like where it came ultimately in the end, you know, when he walked away and Kratos knew that he had um, trained Atreus or given him the skills necessary to not have to worry any longer about Atreus knows he's going to be okay. And then like, for me, there's this feeling of like, I'm personally thinking, gosh, that's so crazy to think like, I wonder where Atreus is right now. Like yeah. he's out there, you know, fighting some creature. You know, I wonder what he's doing right now. You know, like thinking about, thinking fondly of my son being on an adventure and like thinking where is he at right now how is he growing what kind of life is he having like even me and you know atreus is gone he's just pixels he's not anywhere right but yeah. like there it's such a strong connection that you have you were built um that you had built um with atreus along the, the way yeah. that it left mm -hmm. it with me even as a player right so i thought they did a great job at that um what did you think about the odin the odin twist um, I'm trying to think what 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 part of the twist do you mean? He was he was tear the whole time. Oh oh, because he had um he had uh, showed his his stuff now. So I don't know exactly. So I I I don't know. I didn't know if that was literally him from the jump. Like he was in that thing in that uh in that pit, and he got rescued by Atreus and, and Kratos. And that yes. was him the whole time. It was him from the I jump. thought I thought that he got taken, like somehow, you know, Odin did like a swap or something like that, and then took over his position. No, that was him the whole time. A couple things. When you think back to the situation when you actually saved Tyr, um, there's like a bunch of crows in the room, and like so that's one giveaway that it was mm. Odin sitting in there waiting to be captured. And also mm -hmm. if you beat the game. You can actually find the real tier in a in a prison. Oh, really? Right. Oh, and when okay. you find him, he says he's been there this whole time, and he's, he's so happy to time. see. He was shocked to see Freya. So that means that he wasn't like with them. There's no okay. like reunion. Like, oh, you found me again. Thank you. It's right, all right, new. Right. It's all new. Okay. So see, because I didn't play it to that point, that's why I was just thinking that like. You know, and then I kind of forgot about him after a while because the story just, you know, progressed. But yeah, I thought that that tear was there at some point, and then he got, you know, maybe killed by Odin, or you know, his just his spot was taken, and he slid in there into that position and whatnot. But that's crazy to to you know to be like there the entire time while they were plotting and planning and whatnot, and he's knowing everything. Like and yeah. so nothing is a surprise. That's a pretty that's cool like little tricky. twist. I didn't really expect yeah. that. I he uh, was gonna be um Odin himself. Right. Like I thought he might have been like on Odin's side. There was something fishy something? about Tyr, of course, the whole time. That you just you thought you right. thought something was fishy about him the whole time? Yeah, because like he'd always make comments like, yeah, like trying to 
it felt like he was trying to cause a wedge between Kratos and Atreus, like mm. always calling him a champion. Um, that's a champion's name or whatever, calling him Loki, you know, making these little things that made him seem like he was trying to create a wedge between Kratos and Atreus, like trying to get a Atreus to leave and like mm-hmm. go be the champion that and then Kratos did not want that. And Tyr right. for some reason, like kept getting in the way of that. And then like how he wouldn't fight. Um, just, it was like, there's something just, I feel like there's going to be a twist with Tyr. I was not expecting it to be mm-hmm. literally Odin though. Definitely not yeah, expecting I, that. Like, well, that was I, pretty cool. That was definitely a surprise that he was, that he was there in that position and whatnot. It's even more of a surprise now hearing that he was never there to begin with. Right, and it was, was always going on. That's, that's even more of a surprise. But I mean, I kind of, you know, I, I just, I never heard of Tyr before. And then to hear that Tyr was a god of war and he's the Norse god of now. War, right? Yeah. Yeah, the Norse god of war. Yeah, I didn't. Know. I thought that and was strange. Like that's like, that's crazy because if he's anything like, like uh, Ares, like these guys were, they were ready for it. Like They're they the embodiment them. of what they are as a god. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, which is why Kratos is is who he is. You know what I mean? Like why he could have easily taken over the throne of you know the god of war because he was a, a vengeful god, like you know somebody who was ready to get it in at a moment's notice, right? And end you, you know, without hesitation. But yeah, to yeah, see this so guy, it's like, oh, okay, maybe the sure. yeah, maybe the freaking the the pit that he was in just really really changed him. But I would feel like you would come out with so much animosity towards. Odin, that you would be just ready to freaking throw him down, like, oh yeah, I'm the leader of the giants, like, let's go, <laughs> like, <laughs> let's squad up, you know. But um, yeah, and I'd help you out. Like, I hate Odin. He put me in yeah, here. Yeah, I've been in here all this time. Who, who, we need to put an end up. to this guy. Like, why would you not be on board for that? Like, if anything, you should agree this guy needs to be put down. Like, you should yeah. be helping that. But like, it's just like we just like bizarre that he wasn't. So I thought maybe he was going to be like actually secretly working with Odin. Um, mm. Not actually being physically Odin. Yeah, I definitely didn't think that was going to be the case. Yeah. And then what did you think about like Odin kind of being like docile? <laughs> I mean, he wasn't like intimidating. He was like yeah, an so kind of just like I a actually, normal dude. He I like, actually you know, dig down the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually liked the way they had um, Odin portrayed uh, because he just seemed like he was an asshole, but he was like, a logical kind of asshole to a, to an extent or whatever. Like he was like a, a laid back guy. Like you know, there's a job that needs to be done. Somebody's got to do it. If you're in my way, you know you're gonna have to go. You know what I mean? And it was just like I mean I, I thought it was real shitty of him to to uh, attack um, Thor. You know, like he did and whatnot. And and you know everybody was just a pawn to him and whatnot but it seemed like he was like really like a crafty guy um i mean it, it, i i guess in in most of the ways that i've seen odin portrayed he's been kind of like i guess a tad self-centered in a sense i mean maybe yeah not but it's so weird fun. because th- those two things kind of like clash with each other because in a lot of ways he was like self-centered, but then in a lot of ways he wasn't. Like in a lot of ways he was like thoughtful. Like when he was talking with like uh uh you know Thor and Atreus, he's like, Don't worry, it's okay. Atreus has no reason to trust me. I have given I've given him no reason to trust me. It's like, yeah, dude, that's really just, empathetic. That's yeah, like but super he's just, empathetic. But yeah, at the but same he was time, just placating him, man. He was just trying to get him on his side. Like he knew all the things to say. And he had tear on his side, like you but know. Then, what I mean? But like, but he would always do things that just felt like he was he sincerely meant those guy, things. Right? Yeah, it was, was yes. Genuine. It wasn't just like uh like just manipulative. I felt like he. It feels like he genuinely felt that way. Like no, I mean, Atreus has no reason to trust him. I've given he's I've given him no reason to trust him. Yeah. Right yeah, at the same, true. but at the same time, you're right. Like ultimately, he wants his goals accomplished. But there was a sense of like real true empathy. With Odin, like he really, truly, when he was, you know, speaking with Atreus, he meant what he was saying. I, I, I you're not a prisoner here, and you can leave whenever you want to leave. Like all these things he was constantly saying to Atreus felt very authentic. Yeah. And uh, but at the same time, he's supposed to be this like right, like this conniving evil dude. And then you see that come out, 
but it's more of just like a psycho kind of like evil, not like an actual, he hates people. It's more right. just like, he just wants what he wants. So it's like an addiction. It's like yeah. someone who's like a, like a, like a, like a, a drunk. They he don't want to like hurt everybody. people. They don't yeah. want to hurt people, but their addiction to alcohol is so great that they'll do whatever they have to do to get that drink or get that drug, right? Yeah, even like though, he was like, really even in their heart, they may not feel that way about hurting people. Yeah, it was like a crazy determination, you know, with yes, him like finding crazy that, determination. That, what's behind that thing. And uh and it was interesting how they, you know, they they made that that scar in the in the uh in the realm. I wanted um, to see what the reason why he used a, a patch and stuff like that. I was kind I mean, of disappointed. Yeah, it would have been cool you if you could have into it. Yeah, to, to see what's going on. And then it's, it's kind of an interesting stuff. feeling. I was like, dude, I kind of agree with Odin. Why are you destroying that mask? I want to see what's <laughs> behind the freaking curtain. I want yeah, to see what's behind the curtain, right? Is the wizard there? But like, the I want to know, right? The problem like, behind the curtain is that it was just going to give Odin more information. You know, it was almost like it's it's like it's like doing it just to spite him because they could have probably left that scar there. Like kept the mask and then been able to beat Odin before. You That's know, how I was thinking. You could have beat Odin and then, and then you the see mask. what's behind there. But yeah, but but it was almost just of, like to spite him. You know, I think they like, were, oh, it might have been to spite him. I thought they were kind of implying like that's too much for anybody to handle, right? Like, we're not meant to know these types of things. Like, kind of like that kind of direction, right? Like, we're not meant to yeah. know what's behind the curtain. We just live our lives and do our best, right? And so we don't yeah. need this, and you do, right. we're, you know, so we're going to show you how we don't need it. Kind of like, you know, that whole that whole idea, sacrificing um, what you love to prove that you don't need it, right? Uh, those kind of things is what I think they were kind of doing with that. What did you think about um, Sindri? And, you know, the way he reacted with Brock and stuff. Like, what did you think about that? You're talking about with Brock's death? Yeah, and how Sindri became, like, hateful. Oh, I mean, I I thought it was interesting how he, he turned on them, you know, just because, like, he, he blamed everything on them. And, right. like, in a sense, in a sense, I guess it was their fault because none of that shit would have even came to – their direction if it wasn't for them and them being friends with them but like you already knew what time it was like you you joined in the fight you know what i'm saying like you opted to help you know prepare them for battle in any way you could you were always popping up you know to help in whatever way and things like that you know so it's it's it like blaming it on them was just a a, a cop out you know what i mean for him and his feelings like he lost his brother once, and then he found a way to resurrect him, and then he had to lose him again. You know what I mean? So it, I, I understand it hit hard and whatnot, but, like, you know, Brock knew exactly what he was doing when, when – Yeah, you know, I thought it was uh, totally – yeah, I agree, man. I thought that one was one of the poor parts of the story that they wrote. I yeah. thought that wasn't as well written because the motivations didn't quite add up. Like, I totally agree with Atreus – when um Sindri said something like you all i had was family all i had was brock he was my family and then yeah, Atreus said, like, we were family we i thought we were family yeah like that is so true like that's the bottom line like like if if my dad was on a rampage right or my dad chose you know to sacrifice himself you know to save you let's say to save you that's kind of like what brock did he yeah. sacrificed himself to save atreus right like I'm not going to be mad at you, especially if I love you like a brother, right? Or like if he like he jumped in the way of my sister or something to save yeah. my sister. Why would I be mad at my sister? Like that doesn't make any sense at all, right? Tell like, me, tell me why they they but they had that in the in the first one too, with Freya and uh, Balder. Yeah, like, and how she hates how she hates yeah, Kratos like, now. Come I know. on, that doesn't that doesn't make sense. I like I understand the concept of it, right? Like oh. It's her life to choose whether she dies or not um, and whatnot. But at, at the same time, you know, like Kratos cared for that person enough to be like, that's like, I'll risk it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll do whatever, it, whatever I can to, to, to save you because I thought you were in a bind. You know what I mean? Like, why would I, I let know. this it's, dude it's... kill you? Like, you're my friend. Like, I wouldn't just <laughs> let it slide just because, oh, you said it's okay. I'm not giving you that option. But it's so funny. It's so funny, though, because, yeah, I agree. It's like, okay, yes, I can understand. It is a motivation. 
it is right okay like you lost your loved one motivation yeah. and like you maybe in some weird deranged rural world think i would blame you for it but the truth of the matter is dude like it doesn't make any real rational sense normally let's let's say like my dad deliberately tried to hurt somebody right and then someone came along and killed them that's what happened here right like my dad was being like deliberately like for instance atreus deliberately wanted to kill brock <laughs> like not just you know because brock loved him he sacrificed his life for atreus and so now it's atreus's fault yeah it would be if like i could understand Sindri's hatred if a if uh atreus deliberately killed brock because like he wanted to kill him then i can yeah. see why Sindri's mad at atreus yeah like, like it, or if brock fault, was the one yeah, or like if Atreus was the one that shot like the 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 heavy sigil arrow towards Brock's heart or something like that. Yeah, I can just understand. Well, and also because be like he was trying to be murderous, right? Like Eric Gary's not to like save Brock or anything, he just wanted to kill Brock. Like mm -hmm. I don't know what motivation it'd be, but let's say like he wanted to kill Brock, right? Because Brock mm -hmm. was like he just wanted to kill somebody. So uh, Atreus, you'd be like, You're crazy, what are you doing? You just killed my brother. Then yeah. I can see why Sindri would be as mad as he is. But Atreus is like, you're just mad at me because I exist and I happen to be someone that Brock loved? Like, it made zero, zero sense for me. Yeah, and, and then, like, like never gets over it. He's just, like, you know, forever hateful. Like, yeah. I don't know. I did not like that storyline. And and that, and then also it's like, dude, you were on borrowed time anyways. Like, you stole that. You know what I'm saying? Like, Brock was dead a long time ago. And you stole that. Like, you you brought him back. And you're upset because, you know, uh, it, it got rebalanced. Like, it yeah, and got, it was so weird because got put back in the, he in was the, the one. Spot. It was Sentry's fault as for why it was such a bad death. Because he lost uh, Brock's third part or whatever, the soul part or whatever. And yeah. so that way Brock is just going to wander for all eternal consciousness. Like, so he's essentially obliterated. Right, like he's gone out of reality forever, right? That's right. all Sindri's fault. Because <laughs> Sindri couldn't find the third part, but he brought brought back anyways, knowing that risk. Like yeah. if anyone, Sindri should just be mad at himself. Why he's so mad at Atreus is like so crazy. And so I don't know, it just yeah. was not a good motivation. It wasn't enough motivation for me at all. Yeah, it was definitely trying to put the, the blame on, on Sindri and whatnot. But yeah, I I also um I know we had mentioned this before, but uh, definitely like going through all of those areas and stuff and uh, encountering all this shit that you cannot do. And then it, it almost, it deterred yeah. you a lot from like wanting to explore too far. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and I, uh, I, I don't know if we was going to talk about this later or whatnot, but it's kind of the way with Hogwarts legacy as well. <laughs> it's, uh, it's almost like that too with Hogwarts legacy. But, but you know, just going through all of these these areas that you're supposed to carry through through story and whatnot, and then seeing all this stuff and you can't even like access it and it's not nearby. It's like right. an hour or two into the game, and then oh, you can come back and check here. Like you know, only the completionist is gonna come back unless the story dictates it. Like if the story tells me to come back. Then yeah, I'll come back and then I'll use whatever abilities and whatnot. But if I'm not trying to complete it like that, and the story doesn't tell me to, to hey come back to this area, you know what I mean? Like I I've agree, forgotten man. and I've lost all of whatever that was, whatever if it was materials, if it was embers for the chaos blade, whatever, you know. And that also peeved me, dude. Like you have like this the 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 snow flame or whatever, the cold flame. You have the 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 chaos embers you have the shit for the spear and all of these little pieces of shit like why couldn't you just give it to me and, and like the full form like why is oh, it i have to like, like the embers six of the pieces chaos flame. just to yeah. get one yeah come on yeah. man like my chaos flame is a five right now but i got a spear that's a seven you know what i'm saying like that doesn't make any sense that my two base weapons should be the ones that get to grow with me the quickest the the extra ones that the side ones should be the ones that you really gotta hunt for the upgrades. All these little broken down, you got six different, you know, six different embers to find just to get one level 
on the on the blade is is crazy, man. I didn't I didn't like that grindy experience. Yeah, I, I agree, man. They they and, and some of those fights were hard. Like yeah. you had to kill like one fight where you had to kill like three freaking berserkers at once mm-hmm. just to get like a flame or whatever or yeah, yeah or a frog. Yeah, like, just dude, to get one of those a, little ember pieces. That's a tough stuff. fight, dude. Like just yeah. to get that. And it's like that's challenge. that's like not fun. <laughs> Which is why like, it makes you want to go through the freaking in story mode, dude, and not even do it in normal. I know, exactly. <laughs> That's why I was happy that they basically let everything still be like all the achievements and trophies are attainable in story mode. Like right. I hate when they say like, nah, nah, you can't get this. Yeah, you gotta do this to hell or something normal. like that. Yeah. yeah, you gotta beat this boss on normal to get that final freaking trophy. Like, so yeah. I at least appreciate that because yeah, some of those challenges were like no joke, and it's not fun just like torturing yourself. Like, who are you yeah. bragging to? Hey, hey, wife, I killed so and so. Like, I don't care. Like, who, who, who am I showing off to that I beat DNA? Yeah, like, your there isn't friends, anybody man. that I'm trying to show your, off to. Yeah, right? your friends. You told you just bragged to me and told me you beat GNA, man. So it's like, oh, yeah, I'm like, oh, who's mode. GNA? Maybe I need on to go back mode. and like fight this guy, you know? Dude, um, what do you think? Like, how here's a few of gripes I have. So I guess since we're talking about gripes now, we've talked about how much we love it and the story and how much it moved us, right? Oh, we'll, we'll uh, here's some <laughs> a couple of gripes I have. Like, um, dude, there wasn't really an effective fast travel in this game. Like, you know that? Like, you always had to go to a freaking portal. Oh, yeah. Right? To fast travel. You couldn't just open your map up and click like, fast travel. Having to go to the tree. Yeah, and you had to having... go to the tree every time. Yeah, I'm like, having dude, the... what generation are we in? Yeah, that, that <laughs> did suck. Like, yeah, having to actually go to one of those doors and then from that door, pick your location and then have to travel through the tree until it loaded up. Yes. To then yes. give you your new door now. And you could run for like a good minute. And that door wouldn't pop up, or you could just stand there. And then also, like having to finish the conversations that they had in the tree until the conversation was done, and then your door will pop up. That yes. was annoying, also. Like, I should and also, just be did able you to notice, my too, conversation like, through it. um, you couldn't really see map stuff, stuff on the map until like you were in the world, yeah. Like, yeah, so yeah, once yeah, you were like, actually yeah, in the yeah, world, yeah, yeah. then you can, so you can look at the map, like the fast travel or whatever, but you can't see any of the items. So like, that was so frustrating because mm-hmm. I'd be like trying to fast travel somewhere and I'd be like, mm-hmm. damn it, dude, I can't remember like the exact location that I want to go to for like that quest. So mm-hmm. I don't know where to click, like what door to click on. So yeah. I'd have to like go out of the fast travel map, open my map up. Go to that map, find it, and then like memorize it, and then, and then go, go back, back to the back. Fast- yeah, yeah. Fast- like fast- how fast- dumb fast- is that? Like, why yeah. not populate the map no matter what map you're looking at? Like, that's what was like also the annoying decision. Yeah, what was also annoying is that like certain pathways weren't like revealed to you to know like the specific route to claim. So like when you teleported into like Freyer's area, like. To traverse that sea to get over to a certain area, dude, like sometimes I didn't know confusing. exactly which port I should come out of totally, dude. to get there. I'm like lost, totally. like in the boat trying to figure out. Damn, do I go to this side or do I go to that <laughs> side? I'm trying to zoom totally. in close to the map to know, like, okay, if I turn this way, it'll let me know. Like, and then I'll, I would have to like move my boat just to see what direction I'm actually facing. Open the map again and like, oh, okay, I'm facing that, so I'll go this way or whatever. You know, that shit was annoying, man. Yeah, it was just all, all, all in all, a poor map, poor map yeah. design. Yeah, the really map was bad. not. Yeah, the map um, wasn't that great. Another thing too, this was probably um, one of my biggest pet peeves was I started to really hate switching to Atreus, bro. Really, I don't know if you did, but I started to really like, really be annoyed by it. I was like. Damn it, dude. I got to ride a yak for an hour. Like, can I, can I <laughs> back to freaking ghost, man, and play with my weapons? Dude, well, I started so, getting really annoyed, bro, switching to Atreus. And, like, uh-huh. he didn't have he didn't have a level up tree. He didn't have gear no, like his, his Kratos was, did. Yeah. yeah, he didn't. It was not similar in any sense of the word. And, like, that bothered me. They needed. They should have made Atreus. This is why I'm going to keep referring to it. Why I love once again what Ratchet and Clank did. Rift apart. Oh, because both the trees were the same. Right. So no matter if they switched it, I wasn't annoyed by it. I didn't lose my toys for an hour. 
while I'm walking through some pointless storyline that has no real increase or upgrades or things I really want to play with right now. I didn't yeah. want to play with his bow. I wanted to use my spear. I wanted to use the chaos blades. Like I wanted to use those items, right? Like, I don't know. I was just really getting annoyed. So at, at first it was like mm -hmm. fine, but as the game prog progressed and I started getting more and more items that I wanted to play with and I wanted to like progress my, uh, my guy's level, I got really annoyed when I had to sit through like an hour long, basically cut scene. Uh, moving Atreus through a world bothered me, dude. Really well, bothered me. So I actually, I actually liked playing with Atreus. Um, like, uh, I, I thought that it was uh, fun, you know, and cool to have uh, Agnes floating around. I wish that when we had left the first time, that Agnes. Uh, hold on one second for me. Agnes? I did not know who Agnes is. That's for darn sure. <laughs> I don't know what he means by Agnes. Unless he meant Anger Boda. Maybe he means Anger Boda. Uh, that's a crappy card he just added to his hand. Huh? I do have Killmonger, so maybe I can, uh, maybe I can play this. Got a long pause here, man, in the pod. Got a long pause. Must be like a uh, <laughs> job interview. <laughs> Homie's got a job interview right now, right in the middle of the podcast. We got, we got Godly Sovereign taking a job interview real quick. <laughs> What'd you say, dumb guy? As I was like, right in the middle of the podcast, we got Godly Sovereign taking a job interview real quick. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah not, not a job interview. Uh, you remember what I told you? Did I, I told you about my car, right? And then that that oil. Yeah, issue I had the I whole had. situation with the uh, yeah, with the guy that uh, put your oil in wrong or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I had got a receipt from the tow truck company, um, and I gave that receipt to the the manager over there, and he just now called me. Um, and uh, was letting me know that he had my check ready for me to come and grab. So, oh, okay. um, so I would, uh, I, I only, only reason I answered it is because he hit my phone twice. So I was like, okay, let me, you know, answer it just to make sure or whatever. And see what's that is going a on. sick variant, dude. What is? Look at this Wolverine variant, dude. Oh yeah, that is that pretty is like a dope. We're Wolverine, Wolverine variant. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah all right what were we, what were we talking about were we talking about a trade I was just talking yeah. about how like I got I got really annoyed because I was working on builds and stuff like with yeah. um uh Kratos right like interest didn't have builds his gear yeah, you know have, what? like uh affixes and stuff to make a build around and I yeah. really wanted to play with the build I just started and they forced me to play through this hour long section and robbed what? me from the build I just made that bothered me yeah, what's even what's what's more worse is like, yeah, why didn't you just freaking give his armor like some different effects that could even help you in battle when you have Atreus and Freya with you? Like their armor did absolutely nothing to mm -hmm. improve them, but my armor does. Like, mm -hmm. you know, why why is uh Sindri and, and Brock failing at this? You know what I mean? Like they could have added like a couple of extra things for you to throw some extra um uh buffs or something like that, enchantments or whatever on there. Cause that that part did suck, but Agnes is the sword, um, Freyr's Freyr's sword apparently, um, that Odin just had stashed away in his office, <laughs> like sitting by his desk. That's Agnes. So when you That's, were when no, it was in Ingrid, I think, or something like that. Is it? I thought it was Agnes. Maybe it was Ingrid. You're probably right. You're probably right. Ingrid is it. So that's probably why you didn't know what I was talking about. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, Ingrid yeah, dude. Or so check this sword. out. So look at this really quick. So check this out. So right now in this game I'm playing, um, yeah. I'm currently in the lead in two locations, right? Yeah. So I should just be able to play Arrow and win the game. Yeah. So, okay, so I won the game. Most well, likely. actually. Yeah, so I won. Oh, yeah, you won it because he just dropped it on that turn, on that You're side. Right. But Which if he had dropped it anywhere been, else, so it would have probably was a bot. I was you playing. playing a bot but if sure. you dropped it anywhere else, I would have just slid that over here, right? right. And uh, I would have won the game. Right, yeah. so that's why Arrow is so strong. I don't. It, she doesn't need her power, 
right? Her power is pointless because wherever yeah, she's you just want four the cards to her, she's going to lose that location. So it's not about winning that location. It's about just uh, disrupting your opponent. So. Yeah. Uh, Magneto is good in that, in that sense also. Magneto yeah, Magneto, Magneto can F things up. I've lost so many games to that freaking Magneto, dude. <laughs> I have too, you know dude. I'd be mean? like, damn it, Magneto. Yeah, yeah Magneto's an a-hole, to... man. Just ruining <laughs> days. Ruining yeah, days, happened. man. But uh, but yeah, I, I liked playing with um with the Atreus and whatnot. I felt that the combat was balanced because when Atreus attacked with his bow, it was just like um, you know, like a uh like Kratos attacking with like his uh his axe or whatever. And then, you know, when him, with him able to, to shoot ranged with his bow and stuff, you know, it's, it's almost like putting a spear in your hand in that sense or whatnot. So yeah, I thought it was, see, he I hit was so much fun. weaker than me. Like that's what I, what I meant by like a build. Mm -hmm. Like I was having a lot of fun, like making a build. Like I told you, I was leveling up the pieces that gave me increased range. And so I was playing with like that build and yeah. I was like doing awesome damage. It was a lot of fun. I was having like a ton of fun. And then like they throw me into Atreus who has no build. It like takes me out of like the immersion effect. I don't know. It's just, it's just, I didn't, I did not like it like whatsoever. And I did. And some of the things they had him doing were like super mad, annoying and boring. You know, mm. it's like, you gotta be kidding me, dude. An hour long yak, right? You had to have hated that. I did not like that. <laughs> it was yeah, definitely no. slower paced, but I was just more so like listening to what Agrabota said and things like that, you know. Um, so it was just that story. But yeah, that was definitely a lot more slow paced than, you know, the majority of the game. So I could understand why that would, you know, throw you off because, you know, you were, you know, you battling and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden now you're picking fruits with Agrabota. <laughs> 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 And then we're painting <laughs> with their hands it now. Off. It's like, yeah. this is really stupid, man. So I don't know. Some They just had some patient issues like that. I didn't think they did Atreus quite enough justice mm -hmm. in comparison to Kratos when it came to, like, getting gear and making builds. Right? They, did, they didn't do like, either uh, Atreus or Freya better, you know, on that on that note. They made them one note one noted and it was it wasn't that that great so yeah it was almost like they're just kind of like there and it, it it's it, it almost seems like they were just forcing the usage of those two like they could have they could have enchanted kratos's axe or his spear to let you throw it and give it a sigil or yeah absolutely whatever. dude so, i agree like, they made certain things to just like make the usage of having Freya and Atreus by your side, <laughs> but that's all they totally. got used for. You that's know? what it felt like, man. For sure, they weren't they like, weren't aggressive enough. They didn't do enough damage to really be like the determining factor in your fight, and they definitely did not hold enough aggro for the for you know you to be like, oh, like I'll just take this guy, you take that guy. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, both those guys are coming after me while Freya and and Atreus are in the back you know just like tapping at him a little bit you know and it's like yeah you could call him but you know they didn't allow you to call him quick enough you know uh with especially with Ingrid and playing with um Atreus I couldn't call enough sword swipes like it was a slower call so it, it almost made it like uh, a little bit more painful to uh yeah I agree bro to fight like, like that I agree so and and one last gripe, man. Is it just me, man, or those freaking boat rides hella slow, dude? Yeah, they dude, were slow. I couldn't stand the boat rides, man. Yeah, the boat rides were definitely slow for sure. Um, that was uh, <laughs> one of those. Yeah, that like, was like really yeah. annoying, man. Yeah, I know, it's like this is really tedious and boring, right? So yeah, for sure. But uh, but yeah, man. But all in all, <clears throat> I thought that uh, God of War was a, a great game. It had a, a good story um, that was a, compelling enough to make me want to come back to it. The gameplay was was still good and whatnot, and it posed a great challenge, like almost too much of a challenge, just for the simple fact that you know uh, you had to you just had to put too much too much work in. Um, to be able to, uh, you know, get 
get like half of the stuff accomplished that you wanted to accomplish. It, it just took too much. So it was really frustrating in that sense, but um, I enjoyed it. And um, I may go back in at a later date and attempt to uh, try to like, you know, look at some stuff. Ooh, I uh, freaking, um, you can't see it, but I uh, ghost ridered into Giganto. To win the uh, the second, <laughs> <laughs> I just heard the ooh. Yes, uh, but um, I'm, I'm but yeah, I'm not, again, I dude. may get I'm back into it, huh? I'm gonna, arrow, I'm gonna arrow for the win again. I'm winning two yeah, lanes, arrow again, huh? and I just play arrow, and it's basically gonna be almost guaranteed win. Like, there's almost no way I can lose it. And that's only Very because you're winning ways. in two right now. If you were, what, what would you do right. if you were, you were, you weren't winning in two? Areas. If I wasn't winning in two, then I would try to um I wouldn't play arrow. I would try to play other cards that gave me more power in areas to win. Gotcha. Okay. But yeah, so long as I'm winning in two areas, then arrow just freaking seals the deal, man. Yeah. It's so cool because especially with dino, because normally like on turn five you play dino. So like you're mm-hmm. gonna be winning the lane with dino. Right. So it's like if you like put quite a few cards in a one lane to try to kind of win it, and yeah. then turn five you play dino in another lane. And then uh, turn six, you play arrow and win because Dino is mostly going to be winning you a lane. Yeah, yeah. And then like it's turn. pretty sick because like you play Dino turn five, right? And then like the opponent's like, oh snap, I'm gonna Shang Chi that and win. It's like nope, yoink. <laughs> I just use arrow and I slip arrow the Shang Chi over the lane arrows in, and now Shang Chi. And now it win. has no effect to you whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, it's like crazy cool, man. So arrow is sweet. She's probably like definitely my favorite card, or just since I don't have like a lot of the good cards, so. Yeah, uh, Shang Chi has helped me win a, a couple of fights too, though. Like Shang-Chi you can probably build this deck that I have here. You probably have all these cards. Do you have Quinjet? No, I do not have Quinjet. I don't. Quinjet is the the six or five, right? Or is that the no, two? No, it's it's a one. It's right here. I'll show it to you. Okay, no, it's like one of my favorite cards too. Quinjet. Uh huh. Cards that didn't start in your deck cost one less. Oh, that would be yeah. Nice. Yeah, no, I don't got that yeah. one. What in the hell, dude? So you know, there? like set you like Sentinel. You know yeah. Sentinel. Yeah. So whenever you play Sentinel with Quinjet, you add a Sentinel to your hand, and it's a one cost Sentinel now for the rest of the game. Mm, like so, every okay. Sentinel you play from that point forward is one cost because the Sentinel that gets added to your hand, you know, didn't start in your deck. Right. You know, right, and then yeah. when like when, when you Moon Girl, all those cards she adds to your hand didn't start in your deck. So even mm, though like all, you started all those are down, and all even though they're down. in your deck, or right. actually even though they're from your hand, they're all one point less. Yes. Yes, that's real nice. So Quinjet's really dope, and then when you combo Quinjet with like uh, Zabu. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like things get to be like really cheap. So Quinjet's like a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's nice. Anyways, man. So what's your uh, final score for God of War, man? It's a ten, right? Uh, or a scooch lower for me? It's a scooch lower. Yeah, I'd say I'd say that it was good, but I'd probably give it like maybe I would give it like a nine. I give it like a nine or like a nine point five or something like that. Yeah, I'm a 9.5 on it. Yeah. Um, it's a really brilliant game. Like I said, it really had a major impact on me emotionally. Um, the characters, the combat was a lot of fun. It just has a few of these weird quirks. Like the map system is just, it's incredible how poor it is for such a well-made game. So it's just kind of more like bothersome because the game is so well-made and they have this weird antiquated map system where you can't even fast travel. Um, they didn't quite translate every character that you played to be in a similar facet as Kratos, which that might have just been a, a time issue. Mm-hmm. But I would have rather I would have been cool if I could had a build with Atreus too. Like that they like they make me have builds with Kratos and then they pull me away and they make me go for an hour long yak ride, you know, and like when I want to be playing Kratos <laughs> and I build like real You hit this damn yak ride. You really <laughs> hated that yak ride. Huh? I, I wasn't trying to pick fruit, man. <laughs> I wasn't trying to go on a strawberry picking hunt, dude. Like, I was trying to freaking be the god of war, yo. Yeah, no, nah, I feel so, you, like, I don't know. Just stuff that kind of little things like that bothered me, which prevented it from being like a perfect game. So, I guess, I guess, uh, Elden Ring, man, is like the only 10 I gave we, we gave last year. Uh, yeah, yeah, Elden Ring was the only 10 for sure. Um, but man. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, Hogwarts Legacy, man. Um, I know you you said you didn't play it, you haven't played it at all, you haven't even picked it up. You gonna pick that shit up today? 
yeah, when I finally get out of the house, so maybe when my wife gets home, I can go make a quick run down to um, GameStop and pick it up today. Okay. Yeah, man. So I I got that sucker on uh, on Tuesday. I got off of work, beelined it straight to to Best Buy, picked it up. So <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I, I beelined week, it huh, straight, straight to Best Buy, picked it up. And then great time uh, to be alive, man. Great time to be alive. <laughs> yeah, man. So I I got it and uh I've I've been loving it, man. I I've I've been loving it. Um I haven't had too many issues with it. Um I I, I get kind of I the one thing I say is you get kind of torn with like do I explore or do I go to my classes like right mm. away? Like there's a so there's a day and night system, but it's irrelevant when it comes to like the storyline and your classes and stuff like that. Your classes are part of the main storyline. So there's like specific classes that they want you to do that will progress, help progress you through the story. And I think that's because they might help you get like certain spells or whatever that are needed to progress. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the progression is based upon what spells you have obtained or whatever. But yeah, it, it's like, you know, you could literally just be out there and it'll be a day, it'll be a night that's passed, another day, another night that's passed. And then you're like, oh, well, I'll go to my class for a broom flying or something like that, you know, and you'll uh -huh. do that. But like the problem that 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 I have, why I'm conflicted is because like I want to explore because I want to see what's out there and do stuff. But at the same time, I feel like I almost need to do like strictly school studying for like a good first hour or two of the game. And the reason why mm. I say that is because like I said before, your your abilities, your spell abilities and stuff like that come mostly from your classes. So even doing the side quests, they do give you some side quests that will give you like certain spells and things like that that you learn, but a, a large majority of it is from the main quests. So there will be like certain things like, oh, damn, I'm trying to figure out like how how do I learn how to like lockpick or whatever. Well, buddy, mm. that shit's like six quests down the line. You know, <laughs> you got to do six of the main story quests and then boom, you get the, you know, you get that. Like, oh, you're out in the world and you're like, oh, damn, it's all these beasts, beasts and stuff everywhere. I'm like, when do I get to catch one? Like, when do I, you know, get my like beast sanctorum or whatever, where I get to like keep all of my pets in one area and then harvest all the stuff from them and things like that. Well, that's down, that's down the line too for all those main quests. So it's, it's almost like it would just behoove you to do like a good amount of the main quest line first and then start all your adventuring and things like that, because there's going to be certain stuff that you come across, like the trials or whatever. And you're going to be like, damn, how do I even deal with this? And then it'll probably be like, Oh, it's maybe it's this spell or something like that. So it's like, it's almost, it's almost like you should do like, all of the classes and side quests that give you spells. And then from there, once you have like your full spell list, venture off and go. And there's certain things, there's certain things that I'm like still confused about because I don't know when I'll get access to it or whatever. Like, you know, I wanted to go bad. So I'm trying to abracadabra, you know what I'm saying? Like, like as soon as possible. So, right. you know, so I was trying to figure out like, when do I get this spell? But, I thought like, you know, when you go and you get like the deluxe edition and they give you like the uh, the dark arts gear and stuff like that. I was thinking like maybe you get like the dark arts abilities like super quick, but you do not. Like they, So you were thinking like maybe um, are you thinking maybe like you should just do the main storyline first before you explore it? Are you, are you giving me that suggestion? Are you recommending that to me? Uh, I'm I'm recommending that you should mostly stay around the school and hogs hogs mead for a good you know percentage of the first part of the game um just because you're going to explore certain things or you're going to see a whole lot like when you go into like e even just like the school right if you're just walking around hogwarts there's tons of doors that are just locked 
So like going around Hogwarts and searching for chests and stuff like that. Yeah, there's there's stuff around there that you can pick up and different things like that, that you can find. But there's a lot of stuff that's just behind locked doors and you got no way to pick the locks until later on when you learn that spell. And so it's like you, you know you'll 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 go searching cuz you saw a glowing uh chest on the third floor or the fifth floor or somewhere up there and you'll go running around trying to find it and then it's like oh shit you know it's locked you know what i mean you might see something on your mini hub you might detour from a quest line to go and try to to find that chest and then it's behind a locked door and you don't have the the ability and whatnot so it's just like i'm i'm just now finding out like certain you know the spells that would be like uh possible for certain things but yeah it, it's almost like you should just like enjoy the first bit of classes and storyline that revolves around that and then go out and explore because they're going to have you explore anyways there's like a certain point where they have like a quest line that's main story and it's like way out there but even then you doing like the extra you know searching and not just beeline it straight there like you're going to enjoy this the searching that you do but there might be some stuff that you just can't accomplish um because you don't have the right spell or whatever so it's almost like try to or at least like ex like do your exploration and stuff like that and it's always good you know because you're getting levels and stuff and then it, it really uh helps you out once you uh unlock your traits and then you'll you'll you, you get all your trait you get all your traits from level five and up so like as long as you as long as you level you'll just get like a bunch of traits and then you can just decide what you want to do with them and how you want to disperse them or whatever but if it just feels like anytime you see a spell you should just go and learn the spell like the moment you like you get like owl posts and things like that that pop up and people are asking you to, to do stuff or to help them out or whatever stay like mm -hmm. don't even bother with the quest that you see only on your mini hub that you come across because you were in that area I would just like if the moment you see a spell like do what it what you need to do to get the spell unlocked and then do the spell so that you can learn it because the spells are going to be your bread and buddy at, at the end of the day you know what i mean once you learn all the spells you could possibly learn then go now ahead. it's exploration you know like because everything will be open to you you'll have every possible way of interacting with the stuff yet unless there's just something that you know like uh you have to you might you might find where like the Merlin trials are, but you don't know how to activate it until you find the right person. And then they, they, you know, walk over like how to, how to activate it and stuff like that. So you'll see a bunch of stuff and you'll be like, damn, how do I like interact with this? Or how do I, how do I do this or whatever? And, but you won't be able to touch it until you've learned the proper spell or you've, you know, gotten hold of the proper person or whatever in a certain area, but it's fun. Uh, they definitely reward you for like searching because it's shit everywhere. Um, I could definitely see myself wanting to attempt to uh, to platinum it if possible, just because like I, I haven't felt like uh, it's like super tedious or anything like that. Like there's cert it's just enough to like keep you going. You know, um, even like you know getting your your room of requirements and. And putting all your stuff up, like if you if you buy enough stuff, you know, what I mean, you could have like six or seven potted plants going, you know, and you're just collecting all the stuff from there. And then, you know, you get your beast going and, you know, you got all the stuff from there and then you, you have a bunch of potion tables, you got all that stuff going. So, you know, you just be able to like supply up consistently, you know, and 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 be good that way. But uh, but yeah, I'm having fun with the combat. Um, and the ways that they try to make it like intricate, you know, with the combos you have and stuff. And um, I like it because you're not like forced. Why'd you leave that battle? Why? Yes. Yeah. He snapped and he has a Tuma and Lizard. I'm losing both these lanes. All I have is rocks in my hands. Um, like I have no dino. It's like turn five. So this, I'm probably not going to win this game. Oh, that was turn five? Yeah, this is turn, oh, okay. uh, yeah. turn five, I believe. Yeah, so yeah, like, I don't really have any big play right now for turn five. 
And plus this rickety bridge here, any after each turn, if there's more than one card here, they just them all. So it's like really hard to like even win this lane. So I have to somehow win these two lanes that he's already kind of winning, beating me on. So yeah, yeah. I just I escaped. Yeah, that's when like those certain cards that change the location, like even like a rhino to like ruin the location yeah, or Scarlet something like Witch. that. Those yeah, Scarlet Witch, those are good. Magic can even change yeah, it, you know. Magic is cool. Yeah. So interesting. Well, I'm gonna try to play it uh, next by four next time we meet and we can chat about more on that game. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't. I, do I don't know, want to like, too much into it. I think in like two more weeks, um, Atomic Heart will come out as well, and I'm like super excited to play Atomic Heart. So. Yeah, yeah, that was on my list of anticipated. So I'm definitely looking yeah. forward to that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think yeah, I think you're right. I think it's like I think it's like two weeks. No, no, it's, yeah, yeah, it's like two weeks. Yeah, it's the twenty twenty first or something like that. Yeah, twenty something. Yeah, so that'll definitely be a good one. And then the month after that is uh Wulong. So that'll be something. So I've been putting I've been putting mad hours into uh into freaking Hogwarts so man, just like you know, just searching and and doing all the stuff, you know what I mean, and, and running around yeah. and nice. Yeah, I've been putting I've been putting some giving you that fable vibe. Uh Sort of like I haven't done anything to where, like, it you know, how in Fable you walked around and people would just like whisper about you and whisper your name and shit like that, and then they would cower yeah. when you came yeah. into like a village and stuff. It's nothing like that, like, you know, but I also haven't, I feel like I haven't done anything yet because I do like a lot of the side quests and. And the different stuff out there, and I have been exploring, you know, only uh -huh. to my avail to need a freaking special, you know, spell or whatever to be able to continue forth down that path. Um, but uh, but yeah, I just like you know, there's still stuff that I haven't unlocked yet, you know, so I'm still trying to figure out like, okay, I just gotta to like to unlock everything and to make like exploration easier, you're gonna need a broom, so you're gonna have to unlock the broom, so just unlock the broom, you know, just stay at school, <laughs> unlock the broom. You know what I mean? Like, like you're waiting I to thought, be let loose, huh? Yeah, yeah. I thought that I would get a mount like quickly because you know you're given a mount, you know, with like the pre order, but apparently you gotta wait for that shit too. I still haven't unlocked the mount. You know what I mean? So there's just like certain things where it's just like you should probably just stay at school for like a good minute and just do all of the classes and all of the quests. You know, the, that revolve around the spells particularly. And if there's anything where, like, you know, sometimes, like, the teacher gives you, like, a, a side thing where, like, you got to fight, like, six dudes or something like that. Or you got to dodge, like, eight times. And then you got to do, like, six counters, you know, or something like that. You know, doing that, like, go and do that. Find somebody, like, duel or go out into the world, find find some creatures and, and do all of that. Take your ass right back. And keep progressing through through that that section and stuff like that because the moment you do that, then yeah, it, it'll really open up and just allow you to be able to, for one, traverse right. You know, you're gonna need a broom to be able to traverse quickly. You can run, but you know, it's like you could cover way more ground. You can zip in and zip out. You know what I mean? Depending on where you're at, like it'd just be easier to maneuver if you had a broom. So like work work your way up to get to a broom at least. Before you just go exploring to see what you know, what the world's got for you, you know. It's like so cool, man. One of the it's got, it, it must have been such a challenge, man, to figure out how to do spell combat. You yeah, because you would just think like, oh man, with spell combat, what are you supposed to do? Like you're just constantly dodging spell. Like magic is like tough, tough to like kind of figure out how to like make it feel authentic. You know, it's mm -hmm. not like turn based. In a lot of games, man, with spells and stuff, it's like turn base. Like, okay, your turn, I throw mine. I throw yeah, mine. I get hit. You, you know, get like it's all hit, happening at the not... same time. Like it's all happening. Yeah. Like, how do you how do you do that? You know, so, which is probably know, like, the cool. reason why they didn't make it multiplayer. So <laughs> because yeah. of that, you know, what I'm saying? probably but, yeah. So, but yeah, but you know, everything is sure. everything is timed. It's not like you instantly, you know, fling it and you know, and every time you hit the button, it's gonna throw it. Like you know, it's it. I think it gives you like four strokes before it, it takes a break. And then you you know you go again and stuff, but the combos is really nice. Like if you start getting good at combos, like you can. 
Akio, then attack a couple times, do a levitate, fucking attack a couple times, do do an incendiary, an incendio or something like that. You know what I mean? And and throw some good combos together. But uh, but yeah, but the story is the story is good. I'm liking the story. Besides the fact that you know you're just this person with ancient magic, and there's no like explanation as to why, as of yet, anyways, like as to why you have it, and you know, and all that stuff. But um, I just hope that they're gonna add more to the game, like like after the fact, like after the story, it would be cool if they added some more stuff uh, into mm-hmm. the game for you to do afterwards. You know, like in game stuff that would be really cool because this is a world that I would want to stay in and continue to play in and whatnot. And if I could eventually interact with other players or if there was just more things to possibly do, you know what I mean? That would be cool. But they did a good job, you know, with the world and, mm-hmm. and all that stuff. And I haven't really noticed, like, like yeah, you have, like, you know, your creatures, your Inferniuses, your your bog, your bog darts or whatever, um, you know, all of the little creatures and stuff like that. You have them, and they're all over the place and whatnot, and they're kind of the same. But I haven't really, like, encountered too much where it was just like oh the same you know group of guys again you know what i mean the same tasks again i haven't i haven't come across that yet so so far so good nice but yeah man yeah i'm looking forward to it man so uh gotta play what you're gonna do after this dude uh i don't know i gotta see you know what i mean if my wife doesn't have anything uh planned uh, for me to 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 do, then I'm definitely getting back on it. Um, I'll be waking up early in the morning, trying to catch <laughs> trying to catch everybody before they wake up and getting some hours in. You know, <laughs> so, <laughs> I just I just get it in, you know, as as much as possible. So yeah, uh, that's definitely the goal. I hear you, man. That's yeah. cool. Well, yeah. Let me know if you get it. Did you um? Did you check out like any of the streams or anything like that? On Twitch? No, I haven't watched anything, man. Okay, they were giving like um like cosmetic items and stuff like that away in the stream if you watch it for like a certain period of time. You almost gotta watch it for like two hours or something like that to get everything. But I would just you can you can just watch you can watch the actual Avalanche stream or you could just watch somebody who's you know partnered up enough with Hogwarts Legacy and Twitch to be able to uh get it on there so you just like look at the hogwarts legacy streams and see if they have drops enabled and so you just i just put it on my phone and then toss my phone to the side and then play the game you know what i mean and then just let it run until i get them but i managed to get all the stuff i just got to figure out how to like i probably have to turn the game off and then uh you know log back in or whatever to get all of the items and stuff like that but they give you like a couple of cloaks, some eyepieces, some other stuff, but everything, everything that I've seen didn't even really compare to the dark arts uh, cloak that they give you for uh, doing the pre-order. That shit was sick. So, <laughs> so I, I've nice. been wearing that one like the whole time. No, no. Yeah, you definitely a dark artist, huh? <laughs> well, the cloak, <laughs> the cloak is just sick. You know, I found like a couple of like dark arts gloves and stuff like that. Um, that I've paired with it, but yeah, the, the shit that I got, you know, that, that cloak, the cloak itself is dope. Everything else is just kind of whatever the hat, you know, is cool compared to all the other shit that they got. But the cloak is the shit because the cloak is like, it, it moves. It's got like ghost, like skulls mm-hmm. and, and flames going across it. So it's always moving. So it looks sick. But all the other ones, I haven't seen anything look as good as that. So maybe I just haven't come across the right equipment yet, but. Yeah, that that one was like that one's nice. Yeah, man. But uh, yeah, we didn't really talk about no news uh today or anything like that. It was mostly just you know talking about you know our, our thoughts and opinions on God of War, and then you know me giving a little bit of Hogwarts Legacy. But it's I can't really you know talk about the story and and things like that until you know this sucker here plays it. Um, cause I don't want to give too much away. Plus it's literally like officially just came out today. So <laughs> all those other guys giving those hardcore spoilers and shit, it's kind of annoying, but, uh, but yeah, man. So, uh, until next week, uh, I think Ray's going to lose this one. 
I don't know, man. What do you think? Are you think you're gonna win this, man? Actually, that might have helped. Him playing Venom there actually might have helped. I think I'm gonna win now. I don't know. He he opened up more space. That's fine. I want more space. Like an arrow. So let's let's say he plays like three cards. I can pull all of them to center now. Oh, okay. So like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win now because I can just go arrow, then I can throw this somewhere, like here, I guess. Honestly, let's see. I can go to here. Yeah. So I'm pretty yeah. sure I'm gonna win now. Because he did Venom. I was unsure, actually, because there wasn't enough space. But now that he Venom, it's like I kind of think I can up. win. Yeah, so everything can get I'm gonna snap. Go up in there. See, I don't know if I should snap. I feel like he might run away if I snap. But, like, uh, yeah. he hasn't discarded anything, so I don't have to worry about Hella here. Like, there's no way he's going <laughs> to Hella me, right? Like, so. It'd be Hella annoying. Oh, he threw out yeah, everything. See? I got all three center now. So, like, there's no possible way he can win this. <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. Poor yeah. guy. Unless he had some shit that like multiplied or something. Look at this. Look at his center. 47. Oof. But it doesn't matter because it's all in one spot. And I need <laughs> them all in one spot. Yeah. I was an eight cuber there, bro. Yeah. I was an eight yeah, there. True. Arrow is so tight, bro. Arrow is so tight. Yeah, I might have to I might have to try playing with it. You know, see see if I can uh Find the deck. You got you got to put it in a deck where like you get you do a decent of like a lot of uh card dropping up into turn five mm -hmm. where you drop Dino and then turn six Arrow. So yes. like you want to make sure like you're kind of controlling a couple lanes. Yeah, I might just I might just throw it in my Devil Sword deck and you just remove a card or whatever because yeah, yeah. It should be a good addition. especially if you run Sentinel Sentinel in your Devil Sword deck, which yeah. you should be running yeah. Devil Sword. Oh, I mean, it's shit, I didn't even realize the Ragnar had popped in. My bad, bro. <laughs> what up? Uh, yeah, I don't know if he's still in here, but yeah, he he came through for a quick second. But all right, man. Well, that's all, all right, we got to talk about. Um, yeah, we didn't we didn't play a a, a match on stream, but we'll have to uh we'll have to do that later or something like that. So you yeah, sure. we'll do it next my, time. Yeah, yeah, you can go against my hella good deck or yeah, hella good. I might hella get. Good. <laughs> 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 hella good day. That's yeah, funny, man. dude. <laughs> but all right, then, man. Uh, we'll catch you guys uh, next week. Um, thank you for listening. Well, actually, you you watching. So thank you for watching. Hitting the stream. <laughs> um, when this goes to, to YouTube, appreciate anybody stopping by, clicking on the video. Um, you know, hit the follow or subscribe. We'd appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. Deuces. Bye.